Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I'm looking at what three words. A simple way to describe your location in just three words. While I was reviewing the my tag location tag, I found something that I'd never seen before. They were using some technology called what three words, which is a different way of looking at locations. Location seems pretty obvious. At the moment, I'm here in my studio at home. That's at my home address. The problem is, not everywhere has a street address. If I wanted to be really precise, I could use GPS coordinates. Now, I've never been to Central Park in New York, but it's huge. 3.41 square kilometres. 843 acres. Bigger than the Vatican City, and bigger than the country of Monaco. I'll meet you in Central Park. Yeah, that's going to work. Sure, there's lots of landmarks and nearby streets to reference from. But me, sitting on my picnic rug, is going to be hard or impossible to find. I could give you the GPS coordinates. 40 degrees point seven nine zero five four zero north and 73.955731 west. But that's impossible to remember and not actually that easy to use in the real world. Google has its own system, called a plus code, which for this location is Q2RV plus 6P6, New York, USA. That's great, but still not all that memorable. So, someone had an idea for a better solution. From being in the live music business, Chris Sheldrick had experienced tons of location-based errors. In Italy, where a truck driver unloaded all of their gear an hour north of Rome instead of an hour south. And another, where the keyboard player called him and said, um, I think we might have just sound checked for the wrong wedding. So Chris chatted to a mathematician friend, and they worked out that to make a system that was precise enough to refer to a building entrance or a parking spot, it needed to be accurate to a 3 metre square. This meant they needed 57 trillion addresses to cover the globe. They then worked out that by using 40,000 words in a three-word combination allowed them to create 64 trillion addresses and cover the entire world with a few to spare. What three words was born? My little spot in Central Park is donated by Cliff amused supply, which is much easier to say and remember. But, of course, you need something to get you there. What Three Words has apps for iOS and Android, and the website is excellent. But there's more. The technology is now being built into newer car navigation systems. You can open the navigation app, say the three words, confirm the destination, and be on your way. Emergency services are also getting behind the idea. It makes sense. It's pinpoint accurate. In most of the UK and in Australia, you can give your what three words address to the emergency operator and they will be able to send the service to your exact location. My phone has an iOS widget that looks like this that shows my exact what three words address at all times. And there's an Apple Watch app that will show you your address as well. Here are a couple of articles I found where a caver was able to give their exact what three word location and be rescued from a remote location and another of a bushwalker who fell in bushland near where I used to live on the mid north coast of New South Wales and they were able to send in a chopper to find her. Farmers with massive properties are using what three words to direct people to the right paddock or barn and some e-commerce companies are allowing you to enter a what three words location for delivery, which is especially useful when there's known issues or duplicates or similar addresses in a particular area. If you want to find a specific stall in Sydney's Flemington market, this what three words map will help you find it. To be honest, it's almost better than the Bunnings app's ability to tell you what aisle the product you're looking for is in. There are actually many parts of the world where there are no addresses yet. And what three words is starting to give people in these areas 
access to deliveries, services, and ways for people to find them. There's a heap more information in the TED Talk by Chris Sheldrick, CEO of what 3 words that I've linked up here, and in the comments down below. Question of the day. How will you use what 3 words locations? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. This channel is a labour of love. If you would like to support us, there's some easy and free ways of supporting us by clicking on the link up here. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos that you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.